In this video, I'm going to talk about Bing Chat because Microsoft has played a significant role in ChatGPT's development, providing substantial financial support to OpenAI. As a result, ChatGPT has been integrated into Bing. Notice that here I have put Bing Chat and I have Bing.com Chat and I have it open here. All right, you can access it using Chrome. Before, access was limited to Microsoft Edge, the Microsoft browser. However, now you can access it on other browsers, including Chrome. The decrease in daily interactions is what occurs. It's not explicitly mentioned here, but if we were to initiate the first interaction, it would show up. The number of interactions you have left, and even when connected with a user, Chrome provides five interactions per day, while Edge offers 30. It's worth noting that the new Bing is capable of processing images. In fact, Bing operates on ChatGPT4. The only limitation is evident here. It has a prompt with a maximum input of 2,000 characters. Depending on our needs, this limit might be a bit restricting, but the quality of responses remains excellent due to its utilization of ChatGPT4. Actually, images don't function with DALI 2. They work with an enhanced DALI 2 version. DALI 2 serves as the standard algorithm for images, for generating images from text in OpenAI. DALI 3 is currently being launched, but by the time you watch this video, it might have already been updated. The key point is knowing that as an alternative to ChatGPT, and without the need for ChatGPT Plus to access GPT-4, you have the Bing Chat as you see here. If you intend to use it frequently, I'd recommend using it in Edge. Take note, this is bing.com on Edge, and once we access it, we are directed to the chat function. When connected with a Microsoft account, we have the allowance of up to 30 interactions per day. The prompt character limit remains at 2000, but with 30 interactions. Additionally, we can instruct it to be more creative, balanced, or precise in its responses. It now integrates internet searches. When queried, it retrieves information and provides reference sources. Therefore, there is no need for any extensions. Hence, it offers several advantages. However, there's a restricted number of searches available. You can distribute your work between GPT Chat and Bing. With this, I conclude the video where I've introduced an alternative to GPT-Chat based on GPT models, Bing Chat.